people here uh, from W2. It's a downtown Eastside community uh, media organization. And uh, Allison Beale's class, uh, which was a senior communications class last year, um, spent the semester planning, uh, helping to do research that would help to plan and implement activities that will become, uh, uh, that W2 will undertake as it becomes part of uh, the Woodward's Company. Um, so that was a great opportunity for that class to understand the workings of an, uh, an arts uh, cultural organization and to get that experience. Um, and of course that comes you know, through networking between Alice and Beale and community members. And so the networking that you have with our faculty that I hope to facilitate over and over again is really uh, critical. Another project, uh, that story points, uh, in an undergraduate digital literacies course, um, he, they, uh, his students use Google Maps to map out youth media projects or, uh, in the Lower Mainland um, to make so that people could find out, you know, where, where are the schools, where are the community organizations that are having students that use new media to do interesting projects. So there's a map, a Google map that will tell you where those people are. And so they know where each other are and it becomes a tool for greater interaction um, and community building. And every year in CF, in the School for Interactive Arts and Technology, uh, the senior design uh, class takes on a project under the guidance of external mentors. Um, the mentors uh, are from industry, from corporations, and or from community organizations. And they uh, take on the job of providing advice to these student teams for a year-long project. Uh, and this is a great way to get involved uh, in uh, at, at, uh, exposure to students. So that's the students. You can also engage in our with our faculty. Maybe that's kind of the, the mechanism to even get to the students. Um, many of you have no faculty in FCAP, uh, have worked in projects in the community. There are really too many to talk about. Um, but I tried to pick two that were quite different. Peter Anderson, some of you know, he has worked with the Peace River Regional District to carry out an assessment of the emergency communication needs and capacities uh, of that district uh, to respond to emergencies. Um, so that was a project done over the last 12 months or so. Judith Garay, many of you know, is artistic director of the professional dance company Dancers Dancing that is now in its 10th year. Um, so that's two extremes uh, and two ways of getting and the faculty get involved. Um, any other, anyone here working with a faculty member in Afghan on a project or have done this? Yes. Um, Allison Beal on uh, Women in Beauty, the uh, conference next, uh, next October. Right, right. So there's lots of projects underway, but Women in View is a, is a, a film festival uh, and conference uh, that's being developed. Uh, it will be at Woodward's, won't it? Uh, it will be partly Woodward's. <coughs> <laughs> right, right, right. So that's an example of where we've got a kind of connection. You? Yeah, the association with publishers with the growth of our around the Right, right. Uh, yes. Yeah, the contemporary film that we worked with a number of faculty, including the Unity Relations, was presenting um, uh, uh, public talks by the Rosie the artist from our Talia's book on democracy and media. That's right, that's right. Thank you. So the guy on the side, I'm just going to talk to the staff about how that can become the best of all. Right, that's really important. Uh, the Push Festival. Um, we're working on a project this year with the um, Stephen Hill um, and probably the dance uh, students as well as the theater students with the inaugural preview and a show that will involve students as well as off-campus people, people who are connected to the school as graduates or to the performing arts in the city or to the emergence or the rebirth of the uh, Woodward's building. So. Great, great. And one more. Colin Brown is a colleague on the board of the Vancouver International Film Festival and Champion of uh, making sure 
student uh, short film to get an audience in Vancouver and uh, nationally. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more. <laughs> you finished the uh, Media, a media analysis and media watching, if you will, is a, is a very strong uh, expertise in the school of communication. Good. Okay, um, so that just gives you some idea of the depth of uh, existing connections uh, with FCAP faculty. And if you have uh, ideas of projects or things that you would like to get in, I see one of my uh, main uh, functions as a dean, uh, as a broker, if you will, uh, to make connections and make introductions. So uh, another um, avenue for getting involved, uh, which uh, really I think a couple of examples were sponsoring research. Um, last year for the Surrey Economic Summit, for example, Catherine Murray uh, prepared a white paper on uh, the issues of creative work and developing economy in edge cities like Surrey. Um, Ron Carey and Mara Katala, uh, out in the School for Interactive Arts and Technology, um, worked with Ubiquity Interactive, uh, which is an interactive design firm here in Vancouver, and they uh, combined and got uh, funding from Canadian Heritage to develop uh, handheld museum guides for the Surrey Museum. Uh, so that was a three-way partnership there with, uh, with external funding. Um, you may not realize it, but there are actually many research funding opportunities out there that if they don't require community participation, they certainly incentivize it. So there's actually uh, a built-in mechanism for uh, wanting to get, uh, faculty <coughs> wanting to get involved in community activities. Um, finally, I, want, I invite you to engage with our programs and our program development. Um, some of you, of course, may have taken a course or a workshop. Uh, Michael mentioned the Praxis Center for Screenwriters, which has had such an impact on um, uh, uh, screen uh, writing development in, in uh, Canadian film. Um, but I'm also inviting you, and I think this is like foremost on my mind, are there new ideas for programmatic endeavors? Uh, are there new needs in the community uh, that we could uh, develop programs, either special purpose programs or perhaps a whole uh, a degree uh, to meet a need that you're aware of? If you have ideas like that, I'd like to talk to you. So I think you know my overall message is community engagement is really central. Uh, to FCAP. Um, and what I intend to do to sort of take this, or at least one thing to do to take this forward, is to establish an advisory board for FCAP uh, with community leaders. And that will help us uh, to uh, strengthen our ties to the community and also give us an avenue uh, to pick the best brains of the, of the area uh, in terms of uh, fundamental knowledge and an understanding of uh, uh, the the future trends so that we can have thoughtful recommendations out of the board. Um, so with, uh, we will be working on that over the coming months to get that established. Um, and I'll stop now and uh, 